Peace. Good morning, Facebook. What's going on? Um, this morning I'm gonna have to sip some tea for this little video that I'm doing right here. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like Kermit. I have to sip some tea. So, here's the thing. In relationships, we get a lot of brothers and sisters who talk about they want the strong brother, or the brother want the strong sisters, and so on and so forth. But a lot of times, I don't think we understand what we ask for. Which is why it's so very important that when you are asking the universe to assist you in bringing you something that you clarify distinctively what you are asking for. You understand? Because you'll get what you ask for. But you have to be very distinctive when you ask for something. So, sisters say they want a strong brother. Brothers say they want strong sisters. Well, brother, first you have to understand what does the word strong mean to you? And what does the word strong mean to the sister that you find who you might call strong or so on and so forth? What does strength mean to her? How is it interpreted to her? How has it been interpreted to her? What does the word being a strong woman mean to her? And how is it acted out through character and traits and so on and so forth? And the same thing for brothers. What is a strong man? You know what I mean? And how is that characteristic or attribute acted out? What does it mean? Does it mean that a strong man is somebody who screams and hollers? Does it mean that a strong woman is somebody who belittles you or so on and so forth? We have to begin to examine what this means. Strong, independent, these words that we use all the time, because a lot of times these words have been misconstrued and taken out of context. For me, a strong woman is a thinker because true strength is developed by the exercise of thought. That's for me, what a strong woman is, as well as what a strong man could be. You know what I'm saying? By exercising the thought process and putting those two things together, you have a strong unit, you know? But a lot of times, strength is not measured by actually the thought process. It is measured by the accumulation of materials and so on and so forth and in and, 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 and your education and your book smarts and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter how many books you read, how educated you are. That doesn't mean you're necessarily strong. A conscious person does not have to tell you that they are conscious. Their actions will show you that they are conscious. You see what I mean? So we have to begin to examine these things called strength and so on and so forth and what we ask for in the relationship. Because a lot of times sisters, you know, turn into the roles that seem to be reversed. But the roles aren't necessarily reversed. It is the mindset and the use of the words that we use to identify with. What does a woman Who's strong and independent identify that with? What are her visuals? What are what 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 are what are her tools for her to identify this particular measure? And the same with a man. What is the tools that you use to identify? If you don't have parents, manhood training or womanhood training or so on and so forth, what do you use to say that I'm independent? That I'm a strong woman? What makes you strong, brother? What makes her strong? What makes you strong? What makes you an independent, strong man? These are the things that, that we have to really begin to examine because it's misconstrued. And a lot of times it makes the relationship terrible in a sense. When a person claims to be strong or independent, that causes a division in a sense. Because again, we're going back to the defined ideology of what strength may be. Because it can mean something. Again, this interpretation and this perspective. Let me sip my tea. Because this is something that happens all the time and we hear it. A lot of times sisters who get brothers and brothers who get strong sisters, sisters become overpowering, overbearing. And it's not that they're overpowering, overbearing, it's because they're taking up slack. So I think sometimes when brothers say they're looking for strong sisters, they're looking for a support system to actually take care of them, in a sense, without understanding what they're saying. You know what I mean? I don't know. This is why I'm making this video, because it's very important that we begin to examine the way we say things and the way we use words in our relationships and in our everyday reality, because they shape how things affect us and how things happen. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a man... And you say, you know, a strong man, what does that mean? Do you mean physically strong? I mean, does he have to be able to lift up a house? See, we have to begin to clarify our own expectations, our own ways that we seek. We have to clarify. We have to know exactly what we're looking for because, again, the whole idea, the whole ideal of strong, independent, and so on and so forth can become misconstrued because of the way it has been presented to whoever is utilizing it. You understand what I mean? So when you see the woman, you know, who's strong or whatever, and you see the man and she's taking care of the man or she's she's being his thought process or he can't think for himself or so on and so forth. That's somebody that's not really even looking for a relationship. That's somebody who's looking to be taken care of. You understand if he's not bringing anything to the table and aiding and, and vice versa, that's somebody looking for a parent. You understand what I mean? Sometimes a man might not be financially stable to assist financially, but there's 
a thousand other ways that he can assist. And the same with a woman. She might not be able to assist financially, but there's a million other ways she can assist. And that is strength. Being able to find ways to beat the adversities in each and every individual or in the relationship itself. So on that note, I'm just saying, you know, be fair to yourself. And whatever you're asking for, ask for it in such a way that it is very distinctive. And you know what you're looking for because generalizing words can just give you what you're looking for. And it doesn't it, it could come in any type of way. Strength can be defined in a lot of ways. You understand? So what do you mean when you say you want a strong woman? And what do you mean, sister, when you say you want a strong brother? Let's examine those words. Peace.